Devils breed in still waters. That was the quote I was analysing in fifth period English before we were pulled out for an emergency school assembly. I was writing the last paragraph of an essay on Dostoyevsky's The Double and had finally reached that point where it doesn't feel like you're writing an essay anymore but rather executing a ruthless cross-examination on a 19th century Russian novelist. I knew what I was writing had some substance and could finally push me up to first rank in English advanced. I wanted that trophy. That was until we heard that announcement over the PA system. Uh, could all like secondary school students please make their way to the school halls? I'm not being misogynistic, that's how Mrs. Black actually sounds. <laughs> Secretary work is real work, I know one. I'm, I'm like an ally. <laughs> anyway, I dropped my pen, mad as hell, pissed that Dostoevsky's gone away. Like, how rude of me to treat a literary icon like that. As I make my way through the halls, masses of boys pour out of classrooms. The mix of B.O. and Lynx Africa hits you like a bullet to the nose. They're whispering amongst themselves, pretending like we all hadn't received a news notification this morning. I hear echoes of she was asking for it. We've all done it. I watched it happen, a kid in headphones, he's tailgating me, could you back the fuck up? As I make my way into the assembly hall, Mr. O oh, sorry, Doctor, Doctor Rogers is on the stage, his chin fat hangs low, stomach bulges out of his trousers, in colloquial terms he is fucking ancient, like he should be in the canon right now with Dostoyevsky, if you have anything of substance to say. Sitting next to him, Luke, high and mighty, captain's badge shining bright and he smiled at me, that fucking prick. I go to the back of the school hall and take refuge in Dostoyevsky before I am interrupted by Doc's grating voice. This behavior is disgusting and not at all resemblant of the fine young men this college produces. Oh, can he just cut the bullshit? We've all heard this speech before. These boys can sit here and nod and shake their heads at this terrible behaviour as if they haven't done this to some girl at a party. As if they haven't spread some bitch's noodle over Snapchat. He brings us together to remind us of our vague core values. Virtuous sempervirides. Excellence is always flourishing. I go back to my essay. Dostoyevsky! Dostoyevsky, just focus on Dostoyevsky. Doc is still going. I lead the school better than this. Just stay in your seat, Jamie. These are a few bad apples. Only nine days left, Jamie. Not resemblant of the fine young men this college produces. Luke is smirking fine young men. Why is he smirking fine young men? What would Dostoyevsky do? Virtuous sempervirides. And there it was. Could you just cut the bullshit, Dr. Rogers? Silence. I look around the sea of students turning their faces towards me. Jamie, what did you say, young man? Oh, sorry, sir. I just had an essay to finish, and I fuck. You will keep your thoughts to yourself. Do you hear me? No. Respectfully, I will not keep my thoughts to myself, sir. Some terrible, fucked up shit, excuse my language, has happened in these corridors. Your corridors, and you're going to sweep it under the rug? This is the fourth time in the past two years someone's had to make a speech like this. You can shout that shitty tagline you stick on the back of buses all day, but it's not going to change this toxic culture that you facilitate. We've all seen it, haven't we, Luke? Your badge doesn't seem so fucking shiny now, does it? You have given these boys far too much power than they know how to handle. All because what? Their parents are donors and still the... The last thing on your radar is to take any accountability for the beast that you have created. Have you ever wondered, Paul question that maybe you're the problem? You contact your PR team to make a write-up of how to respond to these allegations before you even take a chance to sit down and reflect on how something as heinous as this could happen in your institution of fine young men. The narrative needs to change. Our school is featured in the testimonies of these women who are victims of sexual assault. So I ask you humbly, in your clear state of desperation, what do you stand for? <laughs>